It was a busy day for air passengers and aviation workers as domestic flights resume across Nigeria after close to four months of being shut down as a result of COVID-19 lockdown. Plus TV Africa's Mary Chinda was at the airport to monitor events and now reports. The Murutala Mohammed Airport comes alive again. Passengers patiently awaiting their turn to board. This is coming almost four months after the federal government ordered the closure of all airports across the country following the outbreak of the dreaded COVID-19 disease. A rainy day in Lagos, but certainly a very busy one at this airport. It's a departure room for um, MM1. And despite the fact that it's the first day of the resumption of flights, passengers are actually coming out in droves to fly. Visibly excited airport staff put in the work. The disinfectants, the floor markings, hand sanitizers and regular temperature checks to ensure that passengers keep safe. One of the criteria for reopening the airport is having an implementation and compliance committee in place. So we have a committee in place that is to ensure compliance. So I want to assure Nigerians and the traveling public that they are safe with us. The first flight that left this morning went away to Abuja with 78 passengers, a Boeing 737. That's, that's a pass mark. The Arik that left for Abuja left with almost uh, full capacity. I've not heard of uh, airplanes, but I want to believe it should be the same. People are eager to go out. People want to travel. People want to do business. So I'm very optimistic that we're not going to have any issue. Today we are having three flights, Arik 3, Airpiece 3. With passengers experiencing flight delays with Eric and Airpiece, they seem confident to fly. I'm here to enjoy the, the, the trip after the lockdown. Safety-wise, I think it's very safe. As in, I think uh, everything has been put in place and is, uh, I'll say it's as good as international standards. So. At least with the markings on the floor and the social distancing, with the sanitizing and all that, it's going to help every person using the airport to be safe. Initially, I was thinking that it would be more rowdy than this, but coming now, I think it's okay. I feel secure. While well, other passengers say they are simply risking it. I can't really say it's really satisfactory right now because um, I don't even know how safe it is, you know, the airline. So everything seems normal to me, except we're wearing masks and social distance. Yeah, everything is pretty the same. There's this thing with Nigeria, we have a little poor maintenance spirit. So me flying by air right now, it's even a risk on my own side. I worry and fear is what happens when um, we have the usual flow of passengers. Will this same standard of um, adhering to um, the rules on um, keeping safe be maintained. It's 12.30 and this Eric airline is just about to leave from Lagos to Abuja. Safety and safety and more safety is the watchword as airlines actually begin again to use the airspace. From Lagos, Nigeria, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa. Joining us now is Herietta Yakubu, the General Manager, Corporate Affairs, our fan. Thank you for joining us on the news. Good morning. Thank you for having me on. We've had the experience over the past week of restoring local flights. What has this been like? It was beyond our expectation. Four airlines were off to a good start on the 8th of July when flights resumed operations. We recorded about 70% load factor. Although it wasn't as busy as the pre-COVID-19 air traffic that usually attended um, early morning peak periods, but it was very encouraging. I was amazed at Abuja when I saw the number of persons that came to the airport. And actually members of the public came three hours before their scheduled flight times. It was quite busy in Abuja and we're happy to say that we were encouraged by the turnout of members of the public. What aspects of the measures put in place have been found to be most effective in ensuring safety at this time? Surprisingly, majority of passengers fully cooperated and complied, uh, complied with the, uh, coming with their face masks on. 
they adhere to the by um, keeping to the physical distance of 1.5 meters and they allowed their luggages to be disinfected their temperatures were taken passengers were actually actually very very obedient to the procedures that we had put in place you know at our airports that was quite amazing i'm sure it has to do with the fact that nobody wants to contact covid-19 so everyone was careful adhering to everything that we asked them to do we actually didn't have any issues on the first day their flights resumed operations uh, since then, have you had any challenges with processing past travelers? No, well, this is just the first week, you know, so uh, members of the public are still adhering and they're still complying with the rules that we have put in place. We haven't had any incidents with our aviation security having to pull anyone aside, you know, or either having any unruly passengers. We haven't had that incident. And I'm appealing to members of the public to continue in this vein. When they adhere to these protocols we've put in place, which is for their own safety, and also for the fact that, you know, other members of the public too, you know, adhering to all of this, everything will go on normally without any incident. So members of the public, you are doing a good job. Please continue to adhere to our rules and regulations in our airports, and you'll have smooth facilitation in our airports. A good compliment to start the morning for would-be travelers today. But looking ahead, uh, does the success of the past week uh, mean that we're likely to see a reopening of, uh, a commencement rather, of international air travel uh, soon? Well, uh, you know that most countries are trying to manage and contain the spread of COVID-19. So most of the nations in the world are still just restarting domestic operations. It may take a while, maybe in a month's time or about two months' time before nations begin to open their borders for uh, people to fly into their country. So we appeal to our traveling public to just be patient in a bit as we continue to handle and manage the spread of this disease, I'm sure very soon. Our nation will open to international flights and other countries too will also open their borders for us to fly out there and they also will fly into our country. All right, thank you very much uh, for giving us an update on what's happening uh, with air travel in Nigeria. Thank you very much for having me. Have a good day. You too, ma'am.